welcome everyone. Today's adventure begins by not going to Chichester because all of the trains there are cancelled, so instead we're heading into Worthing. And there is nobody on this train. I am king of the train. This won't last long. Guarantee this won't last long. Worthing is also not as interesting as Chichester, so I'm already kind of annoyed. Discovered is that you can't record while carrying Christmas presents. We're arriving into our final stop. So I'm already on my way home. We are now approaching Barnum. And with that, it's time to start wrapping the Christmas presents, which I'm really not good at. I'm not good at this. I'm just not good at this. Uh, so we're going to see how well I can get away with it. I'm going to try. That's all I can really do. Most people, when they wrap Christmas presents, I'm guessing they probably listen to Christmas music or maybe if you're a Disney fan, it's Disney Christmas music or maybe even Disney Christmas parks music. Uh, but for me, no, it's more like this. Basically, Blink-182 or 182 or 182. Bit of Angels and Airwaves in there, which is kind of the same thing. Also, yes, there are Star Wars soundtracks in there too. But it's mostly going to be like rock of some variety or another. So that's the first present. Second present, it's okay so far. Third, well, actually, that's the first two put together. Third one. And a fourth one. We're doing all right with these sort of boxy shaped things. So immediately I come up against a round thing, which is like impossible. Another boxy thing. That's not too bad. This was awful to wrap. Like, I hated this. And this one wasn't much better, really, if I'm being honest with you. But overall, they're not too bad. I can kind of get away with it. You use the bows, basically, to cover up all the mistakes. Then I had to wait in for a package, which has arrived. And I'm not going to do a whole video today. So I'll do the unboxing of this in tomorrow's episode. So stay tuned. But I need to go out and get some milk. Not really liking the look of that sky, though, if I'm being entirely honest. I really just need to go and get the milk and then get home before it chucks it down. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a nativity scene, but there's only a baby and some floating candles in it. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad attempt. I just feel like there's several things that are missing in this. Also, why are the candles... Flo That's Harry Potter. Candles floating is Harry Potter. But I do have donkeys. Well, I don't have donkeys. Someone has donkeys. These donkeys. Just looking in this shop window and I know it's a bit beaten up, but I love that Batmobile. Really retro, that's so cool. I kinda want it. Don't know how much it is. There's just a lot of cool stuff in this window display. Way better than that creepy one I saw the other day. Got some trains, got some buses, got some planes, cars. There's some Ferraris in there as well. Yeah, there are. So I got the milk, took it back home. I've now come out again because it hasn't started raining and I'm kind of hoping I might be able to get away with a quick walk through the countryside. It's still very wet and still very, very muddy. Even muddier up this bit. It's 
really not getting any better, but it isn't raining, so I'm kind of going to keep going while I've still got some light. These are Christmassy. Probably shouldn't eat them. They're everywhere. People of the city, when you see these, fear not. It doesn't mean that you can't pass, it means you have to climb. Probably keeps livestock out, but here we go. There you go. No problem. Really, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted that view. If I get a Sunday at home, this is what I like to do, just to feel human again. Love that sky, that sunset. So nice. And some sheep. I don't know what that sheep's doing. I think he's falling down a hole. Hey, sheep. But I am now losing the light. So, with that terrible disappointment and very strange day, it's back to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't think it really comes across in that video uh, just how many things actually were going wrong uh, throughout that day. Uh, from the fact that the trains were all cancelled uh, going into Chichester and then having to go to Worthing instead, it wasn't what I wanted to do. I either wanted to go to Chichester or maybe Portsmouth if I could be bothered. Uh, but in the end, I couldn't do either of those things because there were no trains running anyway. So it didn't make any difference whatsoever. Thank you, Southern Rail. You are just the best. And then when I finally got home and went to go and wrap the presents, I realised that uh, I hadn't bought any sellotape in amongst all of the things that I did buy. So I had to go out and get the sellotape. When I went to go out to get the sellotape, I forgot to get milk. So I had to go back out again to get the milk. Then when I came back with the milk, I then decided that it wasn't raining anymore. So I'd go for the walk that I couldn't do before because I had to stay in for the parcel to be delivered. It all basically became a bit of a thing. Oh, and there was an incident when I was trying to wrap things up with that ribbon. Uh, I threw the ribbon and it landed in my coffee. That just made me even more irritated. So there were a number of things there that went wrong that don't really come across in that video particularly well. Not to mention the fact that really, particularly early on, it was so, so cold. I mean, like freezing. I also tried to go into Starbucks, but I didn't because it was just absolutely rammed in there. It was so, so busy. But anyway, the good news is that not all of my Christmas shopping is done, but a good proportion of it is done and wrapped. And um, we've got a nice parcel from the Disney store to go through in tomorrow's video. So with that said, Thank you very much for watching. If you're one of the three people that make it to the end of one of these videos, thank you very much. Please do subscribe for the unboxing video that will be coming for the Disney Store stuff, which does include some Christmas tree decorations, which means I'm also going to have to put the tree up. Anyway, we'll save that for another time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. How is it only day three?